You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Now a live look from an alert California camera. This is East Las Molinas. The camera there looking into Tehama County with that lowering sun. Yeah, it's that time of year. And Chief Meteorologist Howie Gordon tracking everything for us. And lowering temperatures today too compared to yesterday, right Howie? Uh, Pretty much bit. the same within a degree or two, so, uh, but cooler than what we had uh, in the middle of the week or the beginning part of the week because we were back in the 100s, but if you missed them, don't worry, <laughs> they're going to be back shortly. Here is our Platte Mountain camera. That's in Butte County. That is looking off towards the southeast. Lots of sunshine for at least a little bit more. I'm not talking clouds. I'm just talking nightfall. Okay, clear skies tonight. Winds not as breezy. The heat is going to return, not that it really left. I mean, we just go with triple digits, 100 as, okay, hot, hot, hot. We just, we drifted a little bit below that state in the 90s and above average. Here's what we have for overnight, very similar to what we've had last couple nights. Uh, temperatures dropping into the mid-60s, maybe, maybe, maybe into the upper 50s in some parts of the valley. And the higher elevations, remember a few days ago, we weren't dropping out of the 50s, few spots though. We can see eventually a little bit of some cooling into the mid to upper 40s. But just like that, that's right, as we go through our first week of autumn of fall, here's what we got back into the 100s in portions of the valley. And then in the foothills, closing in on 90, coastal range, north mountains, mid to upper 90s. And some spots as summer, we like to travel, go on vacay. Summer is taking an extended vacation here in Northern California. And the reason for that is high pressure moving close. Once again, you're going to slow down and shut off that Delta breeze that likes to deliver cool, moist Pacific Ocean air our way. So what does that mean? Okay, the cool flow not coming our way. High pressure moving closer. That's going to warm us. High pressure and the heat going to dry us out more, plus the moisture supplying the flow at least is shut down, so that means less moisture. We dry up again or dry off, <coughs> excuse me, to some dangerous levels once again in terms of moisture and relative humidity. And this really looks to be our pattern, maybe for a brief moment on Sunday, a little bit of low pressure will move into the area, cooling us by a few degrees, but then that gets alleviated or taken care of as high pressure gets closer and takes full control over again of our atmosphere and those temperatures start to head in to triple digit category once again. So summer just says, uh-uh, maybe, maybe summer was on a vacation the last week and say, hey, when I get to fall, I'll just make up for that week and summer is doing that truly with our temperatures heating right back up. Winds, they shouldn't be as breezy as what we had the last couple of days. And here's a look at those temperatures I talked about. There's a couple of 99s and 101s in there and Redding included. Look at that. This is just a summer extension. But I think summer was on vacay for the last week and said, okay, Autumn, let me just take your place for about a week or two. Sure, they had a conversation. <laughs> yeah, they no <laughs> doubt did. Thanks, Howie. Up next on Action.